Okay, the purpose of this video is to find out what difference it makes, if any, uh, in the sound of this uh, Mapex Meridian Maple snare drum if we replace the stock hoops, which are uh, triple flange uh, Mapex 2.3 millimeter power hoops, if we replace those with new die cast hoops. Uh, in this case, Pearl Mastercast hoops, which are you know great hoops. Uh, they're very well made. Uh, Pearl uses them on their higher end um, snare drums. Um, this particular uh, snare drum, of course, it's maple. Um, the shell is a seven ply, 5.8 millimeter shell. The same shell is is what uh, Mapex uses for the toms in the uh, Meridian Maple series. Um, you know, it's, it's a great drum set. I love the drum set. Um, in fact, uh, one kind of put in a plug for Mapex here. When I first received shipment of this, um, the drum set, the snare drum was three sixteenths of an inch out of round. And so I called um, the, the dealer that I bought the drums from and they, wor they worked with me and uh, contacted Mapex. And Mapex replaced it for me with a brand new shell. So. I real, well, a brand new snare drum. I mean, I had never even played it because I knew right away that that was going to affect the tuning being three sixteenths of an inch out of round. So, you know, great customer service. Uh, you may ask yourself, why would I want to um, replace um, the hoops on this snare drum? Um, I think they're great on the toms. They make your toms very resonant. Um, you know, you got great, beautiful tone. Um, However, what I'm finding with the snare drum is that there's just a lot of ring. Now, if I throw a couple of moon gels on here, um, it dries up the sound. And, um, you know, I've been playing it that way and I really like it. Um, but it's just, you know, too much ring for, for, for my taste. Um, and I would really love to play this drum without any muffling whatsoever. And um, having been a former um, Gretsch round badge owner, I know that die cast tubes uh, give you a great uh, rim shot, uh, good cross sticking, and um, they, they focus your sound. Um, that's often what you'll hear. Uh, okay, here's a little bit of before and after. Um, by the way, this is a 10 lug snare drum. Okay, this is after the uh, die cast hoops have been set up on the snare drum, um, the Pearl Master cast, both batter and resonant side. Well, um, I'll, I'll let you be the judge of comparison, but...
essentially uh, the drum still rings, okay? <laughs> the uh, die cast tubes did not focus the drum so much that it got rid of the ring. I mean, that's one thing I've noticed. Um, so it didn't validate my theory that it would focus the drum so much that I wouldn't have to think about any other type of muffling. So I was a little disappointed with that because die cast tubes are not um, inexpensive. I mean, I, I paid um, like uh, 55 bucks a piece, I think it was, um, you know, discounted. Um, now, one thing is definitely the, uh, the rim shots sound really nice. Um, and, and the cross sticking, I think, is a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more accentuated. got my sound. I am so happy. I mean, I couldn't give up. And so what I ended up doing was I realized that, okay, you know, maybe there was a problem with the, um, you know, the Remo UT heads where, you know, I just wasn't quite getting the best sound that I possibly could. So what do I do? I, um, I didn't give up. I went and added an Evans uh, Gener Genera HD uh, head for the batter side, level 360 uh, technology going there. And then on the, uh, the resonant side, I decided to go with an Evans um, Hazy 300, and I'm really pleased with my sound. No muffling whatsoever. Uh, I thought about doing the dry version of the Genera HD, but decided not to do that because I didn't want to completely give up my sustain, you know, or make it too dry, but just enough, um, you know, real tone from the drums with the die cast tubes. And just great rim shots. I've got my sound. I'm happy.